In this video, we're talking about 10 reasons why you might want to upgrade from the free version of Canva to Canva Pro. Now, of course, that decision is going to be up to you and whether you think it's a good investment for your business. So what I'll do in this video is I'll give you the advanced functionality that you get with Canva Pro, but then I'll also talk about possible workarounds that might exist. All right, let's dive right in. Reason number one, it doesn't cost a lot. So let's jump on over to the pricing page for Canva and we'll see that Canva Pro is $12.95 per month. Per month. That's if you're paying monthly. And of course, if you choose to pay yearly, then you get a 23% discount and that takes it down to $9.95 a month, which comes out to $119.40 now, $100 might still feel like a lot of money to you, but how many hours would you really have to save within a year to justify that $100 purchase? You have to think not just about the functionality of the software, what it's doing for you, but what time is it giving you back? If it can give you back multiple hours, then it really, really could be a good investment. And if you're someone that does a lot of social media marketing, creates a lot of marketing assets, and you choose Canva for your design software, and you're using it da daily or weekly, that time is really going to stack up. And then suddenly, just over $100 feels like a really good price. I mean, you think about that, that's basically 30 cents a day. How much time do you have to save in a day for it to be worth 30 cents? So I don't think Canva costs a lot for what it does, but you can make that judgment yourself. Reason number two is that you get unlimited storage with the Canva Pro account. If I come back over here to the comparison page, we'll see unlimited storage for your photo and your assets for Canva Pro. And with the free plan, you are limited to one gigabyte of storage for photos and assets. If you're someone that's run out of storage on your computer or on a drive or in your Dropbox, then you understand how frustrating that can be. So certainly having unlimited storage could be a benefit. Now, if you're going to argue against this, I would say that most of your assets from Canva, you're going to download final assets and you're going to store them somewhere else and use them. So maybe you don't need to have actually that much stuff on your Canva account. So the argument against needing these extra storage would just be that one gigabyte is actually going to be a lot of space if you're just talking about storing templates and a few assets, but most of your final assets you're going to download and store somewhere else. So you're not really using Canva to just store everything you have. Reason number three is unlimited folders. With the Canva free account, you only get two design folders to store all your designs. And with the Canva Pro account, you have unlimited folders that you can create. Here I am under a Canva free account, and you can see I have two of two design folders. And if I want to create a new one, I just cannot create a design folder. So I am stuck organizing all of my designs in just those two folders. Canva also likes to divide folders up between your photo folders and your design folders. And you do not get any photos, photo folders at all in Canva free. That is just limited to Canva Pro. So if you want to organize your assets by season, summer and fall, and you wanted to upload photos to go along with that, you would just have to have them all under your uploads. You're not going to be able to see them and organize them here within photo folders because you do not have any in the free Canva. Here I am now under a Canva Pro account and you'll see that yes, I have unlimited ability to create new design folders and new photo folders. So it really does give you the ability to organize more thoroughly than you can under the free account. Now, if I want to play devil's advocate and argue against these folders as being a great thing, the one thing I'll say is that you cannot create subfolders even on the pro account. So it would be nice if I could have a folder within a folder, but as of right now, I cannot do that even on the pro account. And the other thing I'll say is that if you're downloading all your final assets and really just using Canva as a place where you create smart templates for the different marketing assets you have, then you probably can contain that within two folders and without using a lot of space and maybe those limits on storage and those limits on the number of folders you can create, maybe it's not such a big deal. I'll let you decide. Reason number four, more tools for branding. Now every Canva account comes with what is called a brand kit and it's a place under your Canva account where you can do things like store colors, store logos, store fonts, only you will find under the free account, your options are definitely limited. If I come in here under brand colors, I can store one palette, but it tells you if you want to do more palettes, you will have to get Canva Pro. 
Logo, I cannot upload a logo here because I am under the free account. You can only upload your logo under Canva Pro. Same thing with uploading fonts. If you want to upload your own fonts, which you have stored on your machine, fonts that you may have purchased through different foundries and other things, you can only do that under the Pro account. Now, there's certainly workarounds for some of these, at least for the colors. I could easily have those stored in another document, another place to pull them from, know those hex codes, but certainly it's nice to visually have it all here on screen, and I can't do that in the free account. Now, here I am under the brand kit under a paid pro account, and yes, you can upload multiple palettes now. You can upload logos. You can upload fonts. You can set your desired typefaces, your desired fonts for headings, other things. So it really does give you a place to set up sort of a style guide that you can use and anybody on your team could also have access to you. So it is a nice feature of the pro version of Canva. And under here, you also have templates. So if you have some regularly used documents that your team needs to use or just for you personally, you can do all of that under the pro account. How valuable is this feature? I will leave that up to you to decide. Number five, magic resizing. All right, so here's this slide that you just saw. And of course, I did cre create this in Canva, which you probably knew because I slapped this little icon up there. But let's say I wanted to use this particular graphic on some other platforms, which is going to have some different dimensions. So let me just jump up here and check out this resize button, which you only have in the pro version. And so Instagram posts, Facebook posts, maybe I want to put it on a poster. I'm going to click all those and then I'm going to go ahead and, go ahead and click copy and resize. And Canva is going to go to work doing its magic in the background. And let's see what happens here. So it'll take a second. So here we go. That is the poster that just came up there. Let's check what's going on with the Facebook post and let's check what's going on with the Instagram post. Okay, so this did not work perfectly, but it got all the elements there. And then I could just do a little bit of repositioning and then I could easily have these assets. So is it perfect? No, but can it save you some time? Yes, yes it can save you some time if you're taking one image, one graphic, and you're creating assets for multiple platforms. Now could you do this with the free version just by copying and pasting? Yes, yes you could, and it would have some imperfections, but just like this has some imperfections. So with each method there is some cleanup you have to do I would say the one advantage of this resize thing is maybe just being able to select multiple outputs and have them do all those at once and it gets you to a pretty good starting point on each of those final assets. Reason number six, team tools. Now we saw before under the brand kit you can share that brand kit with members of your team so it gives a place where everybody can have those uh, elements of your brand easy, readily, easily accessible to use in your designs. If I go under here, under the team thing, then you have under here, you have designs, folders, templates, all members. So various things in here, you can set different permissions. So you share certain folders with different members of your team. You give different members different permissions. So you have these team tools that are part of the pro version of Canva and not part of the free version. But if I was gonna argue against this being a great, great feature, I would say two things. One would be, you can still share work from Canva when you have a free account. And if any file, any project, you can email that somebody to somebody with a link and you can give them permission to edit. They can go under the edit and they can copy it and they can copy it to their own Canva account. So it does, you do have the ability to share. And the other thing I'll say is the team member thing. Every time you add a team member, remember it you're adding another subscription so that $12.95 or $9.95 whatever you're playing monthly you will then pay that for each team member you have on your team people suddenly get surprised when their canva bill goes up when they add a team member that is why anybody that has an account you are paying for that person to have that account so as your team grows your bill grows however what these team tools do allow for is a more streamlined workflow so if you're working for a bigger organization or even a smaller one that really works together a lot on different designs and you really want to streamline your workflow, then yes, these tools can be helpful. But are they for everyone? Uh, certainly not for everyone because if you're just an individual working, then you're not going to care at all that you do not get these features with your free account. Reason number seven, you get more free stuff. Okay, I know that sounds a little weird. Under the paid account, you get more free stuff. But sometimes you got to spend more to save more. It sounds a little weird, but it can be true. Let me show you what I mean in the case of Canva. So here I am under a free account. And so I've typed into the photos over here, pecan pie, and I found this nice pecan pie picture. Let's say I want to use that in the design. Well, when I go to up to download this here, 
you're going to see that I'm getting charged a dollar for this premium image. So you're going to run into images that are free in Canva, and then you're going to run into premium images where you do have to pay a dollar for usage rights if you want to use that photo in one of your designs. But let me jump on over to the paid Canva, Canva Pro real quick. So here I am under Canva Pro, and you can see the exact same photo is a free photo under Canva Pro. And if I go to download that, it is not going to charge me anything. So what I mean when I say more free stuff, more photos, more elements, more icons, more illustrations, more text, more backgrounds. So you just more templates. So you just have more options that are going to be free than when you're using Canva Pro. Now, when you're using the free version, you will still have a number of free options, but you're going to have less and you're going to have more things that you do have to pay for if you want to use them. So this is perhaps an argument for Canva Pro, although certainly for some people, just for example, for a food blogger, you're always using your own images in your designs and your own images. So if you're using your own stuff, it's not going to really matter because you're not really going to be using too many of these assets anyways, perhaps with the exception of some of the templates. Now again, if you explore around a free version and you love all the options you have, great. If you find yourself wanting a little bit more, then perhaps that's where the pro version is going to have a few more options, a few more assets. And by few, I mean hundreds of thousands of more. But again, how many of those are you actually going to like and use? I don't know. So anyways, that is a difference between the free version and the paid version. You get more free stuff, more photos, more assets, more templates, more backgrounds with the pro version than you do with the free version. Option number eight animation ability. With the pro version of Canva, you now do have the ability to animate a GIF or GIF, depending on how you pronounce it, or you can you can even export MP4s. So here is just the slideshow that I'm using in this video that I'm creating right now. I created this in Canva, so there are like 10 slides or something in here. If I come under publish and I come down, I have this animation icon. Notice the crown, that means it's only available in the pro version. So if I click on that now, you can see that it will animate this sort of as a slideshow. I can save it in MP4 format, I can save it as an animated GIF, and then you can see I have these simple transitions where I can choose if I want a pan effect, if I want a block in effect, there's this breathe effect, rise. So you have these different options and it will create a simple animation. Again, this is not gonna replace Adobe Animate, this is not gonna replace After Effects, but it will give you a leg up on the free version of Canva. So if you want this sort of animation ability, then it is something that is available in the pro version of Canva. Reason number nine, improved publishing options. We just saw an example of that with number eight with the animations you can now create. But if you come under this publish option, you're gonna see a lot more options. You can publish to Facebook groups. You can pu public, publish directly to Pinterest. You can publish directly to Twitter. So they are adding in more and more support where you can publish across social media platforms. And also you'll find when you come to publish and download your designs, you have even more options under here that you will not find under the free account. So for example, you can save things with transparent backgrounds. You cannot do that under the free account. You can compress file size. So if you have something that you want to make smaller and small as possible for a specific platform, you can do that under here. Or con conversely, if you want to make something even larger and preserve the resolution, have something that's really high res so it doesn't become blurry or pixelated, then you can do that as well under the pro account, but not under the free account. Reason number 10, more improvements on the way. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, it's clear to me with this rebranding from Canva for work to Canva Pro, with the addition of all these extra elements you get, the animation feature that you're working on. If you come down here under publish, you'll see some other things that are in beta, like Microsoft PowerPoint. I don't know why you would use PowerPoint personally, but that's in here. Website, you can now create simple websites with Canva. That is in beta, but you can do that. It's still on the Canva platform, but it does give a really nice landing page, a way to create landing pages. So all these things to me are indications that Canva is going to continue to improve. They're going to continue to make things more and more connected with social media. They're going to give you more and more options within here. So Canva for work, if you get on now, there are more improvements on the way. Let me show you one more thing that Canva has been teasing. It's called a social media scheduling tool. So this is on Canva's website and it says coming soon with Canva Pro. Now I think this may have been in beta at one point in time. I'm not sure if it's currently active, but with all the links up to social media where you can now publish on social media platforms, 
they plan to eventually have a tool where you can schedule something to be published at a later date on your social media accounts, much the way you might use Tailwind or something like that. So I am not ready to say that this is better than Tailwind or Buffer or Hootsuite. I think this is in the early stages, so we'll have to wait and see. But I think it is an indication that Canva is trying to up your game. So if you do go to Canva for Pro, you can expect more Pro features coming down the road. So that's it. 10 reasons why you might want to make the switch from free Canva to Canva Pro. Now, whether it's actually the right time and the right investment for you to make for your business, I'll leave that up to you. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, just please go ahead and hit the subscribe button below along with that bell icon so you can get notifications when we come out with new videos. Thanks for watching again and have an awesome day.